Hey, what's up? This is Tyson from Dead to Me. Ken. And uh, we're gonna show you our van. Uh, we are on tour right now. Tonight is actually the first night of tour. We're in Chicago. And uh, we rented a van from this company called Vandigo. And they specifically make vans that are for touring vans. So it's actually kind of tight. And it's way cleaner and nicer than any vehicle Dead to Me is used to. So it should be pretty cool. Check it out. So yeah, um, a lot of times when we drive during the day, Jack does a lot of the uh, big time drives during the day. Um, not because he's nice, but because he doesn't like any of the other seats. So um, he likes to sit up front and drive. And then usually when he does that, I navigate. Because he doesn't like to sit next to anybody. And I don't like to sit next to anybody. So if I'm not driving, I like to sit right there. I love these guys very much, but I have personal space issues. And here's uh, Omar. That is Omar. That's my dude. He's been on every tour that Dead to Me's ever done, actually. Um, and he sleeps with me every night. Uh, so that's a lucky elephant. My friend gave me that elephant um, a long time ago. I think it was like the first time I got a year sober. Yeah, so um, my friend gave me that, and Omar's been all over the world with me and uh, seen it all. So I uh, can't leave home without Omar for sure. We just do a lot of stand up comedy, podcasts, shit like that. Like, it's not like it used to be. It used to be back in the day when we were younger, it was like um, he and our drummer would drive and just blare fucking. Converge and shit like that, like all this crazy hardcore, and that was kind of intense. Um, but nowadays, it's a lot of like podcasts and stand-up comedy silence. shit. Silence. We love Noble Silence. Yeah. But we have um, Xbox. Yeah. So that's kind of one of the cool things about this band is like, since it is, they do rent it out to touring musicians. Like, it's it's uh, it's kind of tricked out, man. It's got an Xbox up in here. Here is the uh, the screen for the Xbox um, and. DVDs. Uh, I know DVDs. Kenny brought the box set of Grey's Anatomy. Yeah, I did. So he'll probably, he loves season. The type of season that. finale, I think, is <laughs> this week. So don't miss it. It's going to be um, great. Yeah, but we can watch movies, hang out. People get on their laptops. Um, we have headphones. And watch movies. Sure they do. <laughs> we have sure like a do. bunch of headphones right there. I don't know what it's for. It's hooked up to the TV. Yeah. It's yeah, yeah. It's hooked up to the TV. Yeah, it's for the TV. Um, yeah, we. I think at this point, like we, we really uh, enjoy each other's company. Like we're brothers in the true sense that like we can hang out for five or six hours and not really say that much to each other, and it's never awkward or weird. You know what I mean? Like um, band band trips for us are pretty chill. They're not like a yeah. party. And they're not. What? That's sure. There's plenty of goofing. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. There's plenty of goofing, but. Um, yeah, it's not it's not crazy. Like we don't we're not big partiers uh, anymore. So there's usually not like a hungover asshole or, or people needing to like stop and puke and, and stuff like that like it used to be. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's pretty chill. Let's but this is also like the cleanest you're ever gonna see a touring punk band's uh, van. I kind of feel embarrassed that you're seeing it this clean, but we don't have games yet, so we might have what to it is. something up, right? Yeah. So what, there's they have this van, so it's pretty much just. I'm actually never back here. Yeah, yeah. Jack's never. So never. This is a weird occurrence that I'm here for this. I'm up there. But well, we have what? Justin and Tyler. Tyler drives too. Um, yeah, there's six of us on this tour. The four dudes in the van, and then we got a tour manager and a sound engineer. Um, and they pretty much sit uh, wherever we tell them. I think <laughs> Justin. You know? ju no, Justin. That's like most bands. Yeah, true. It's like Justin and Ian are like pals. Yeah, they got a little bench buddy thing. We are down one crew member this tour. We don't have Ian's dog, Baxter, who uh, Baxter. not only does Baxter go on tour with us, but we, uh, I actually didn't know this until he came on tour with us. He gets his own seat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah which is special. Yeah, That's yeah. really nice yeah. of us. Um, <laughs> this is true. But yeah, uh, it's kind of like every man for himself when you get in. I mean, we'll kind of rotate if like the two assholes up front have been up there for a while. Sometimes they'll come in the back and then these two dipshits will go up front. But, <laughs> We don't know yet though, this one. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see I don't goes. want to drive at all on this. Really? You don't want to drive? I'll do a lot of driving. I'm cool with that. I think I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep. Here's one good thing about having recovering alcoholics in your band is there's always a designated driver. Um, I am in recovery and that kid is in recovery. So we are for sure the sober dudes and you it's a good thing to know that at all times there's two sober drivers, which is more than I can say for 99% of punk bands, I think. You know? Jack doesn't have a license. I don't he does have a most license. Of the Jack, yeah, Jack does do most of the driving I don't, without a valid license. It's not a joke. Legit for real, I don't have a license. It hasn't had one for like 30 years. It's like 16 years. 16 years, too. Yeah, it's not 
It's a good run. Just don't eat one. It's a good run. Yeah, not on some of it. This stuff will usually be like kind of filled up with some like uh, bitch bags. garbage bags, some snacks. We're gonna get a snack zone right there for sure. Get a, um, snack zone. a cooler, right? Yeah, usually we got like a cooler with some waters, beverages, stuff like that. Um, but usually we're in a big bus, but you know, this one's short, so like, we wanted to see what it was like for other bands, you know what I mean? We wanted, we, we, we were like, I heard bands yeah, do this like this. We, yeah, 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 boutique man. tour, I think they call yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> we were playing like smaller clubs <laughs> and in a van and shit like that. So we were like, we should see we should what try. that's we like. Should, yeah. Let's go. I'll try anything. You don't get into recovery without having to yeah, I'll try anything at least empathy, once attitude. Empathy you know? is a big thing with us, right? Yeah. Empathizing, yeah, we love to empathize with each other. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so yeah, since this is just a, a basically we're a California band and it's a it's a Midwest to East Coast tour, we did not bring a trailer and we're on tour with two other bands. So we're sharing gear and so this has the burden of carrying a majority of the gear. For uh, which our is, band, and nothing. Which it's is, like a guitar right here. Yeah, there's like a guitar cab and one, uh, one bass cab. It's like a case over here somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> some cases and stuff, and then uh, we got a bunch of merch and shit in here. But um, we didn't do tra trailers. Suck, man. Trailers are a pain in the ass. Um, they're they're nice, but we don't we don't really need them for the shit that we do. We kind of like to fly in and rent and then do our shit and leave. Um, yeah, it actually fits a lot of stuff back here. We loaded up earlier today for the first time, and we fit a, a pretty decent amount of stuff back here. So we weren't we weren't too too crammed. Uh, we didn't have to do a thing this time. Since it's only six of us. Where like we got to leave a zone for a dude to sleep. Like I saw, I've been watching some episodes because I knew we were gonna be doing this, and I saw one where the kid had a fucking coffin zone, dude. Like right there, and I was like, and it wasn't even a punk band. He was just a regular band. I was actually pretty impressed with that kid. I was like, you know what? You get some points for. It was insane. What band? I don't know. I don't remember the name of it, but he knows, dude. yeah. <laughs> but he was in a fucking coffin. We don't got none of that shit. Everybody can fucking hang out and sleep. And we do hotels. We're all we're divas, so we do hotels, and um, nobody's got to sleep in the van, so it's, it's pretty chill. Yeah. Yeah. Right now we are on tour in support of our new single, uh, "Would It Kill You," that we self released, and uh, we'll be putting out a record later this year, a full length. Um, we're touring now in the summer and then we're doing uh, some stuff in Europe, Europe in the fall and we'll be playing the fest in Gainesville so come hang out um, you can go to deadtomemusic.com check out fucking tour dates uh, videos videos Word pictures again, music Ken's diary My which diary. is always a good read uh, um, yeah and then we have you know the typical Instagram Instagram Facebook, Twitter, Twitter all that stuff Dude, we're really hip yeah. we know what the kids like you know, so we have all that stuff you know, so connect, engage, engage, disrupt. Yeah, it's great. Subverse, all those things. Yeah. Facebook, Facebook is one of them. I don't know if you've heard of it, but it's a big, it's a website that kids go to. Yeah. I saw it on the news, so I know it's real. True. Yeah, it's so all true. Check us out out there, and uh, thanks for having us on your um, Bus Invaders show. We are dead to me.